welcome to my channel this is reading truth to roll by clara i am clara and today we are reading truth today we're going to be reading for the sign of cancer and i ask the universe to guide protect and assist me for the sign of cancer i ask for clear guided messages for which they are intended I ask for Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel to guide, protect, and assist me for cancer's highest good. I ask for protection from my viewers, cross raw watchers, and myself. Amen. Amen. On the split, it looks like... Um, Someone here could be proposing to someone and someone is wanting to bring in balance to a situation here. Someone may also want marriage like through the justice system. So this, there may be a proposal coming in. For some of you, there may be an apology. For some of you, there may be a celebration coming in, an engagement. Again, a proposal, a celebration. like this weird fly in here. I gotta close that door. I'm keeping it open because of my son, but oh, I'm gonna have to keep it open. I hope everyone is well. Look at here. Someone wants to bring in a message here. There could be some healing going on here. Someone could be coming into balance here. Creativity may be coming in for some of you. This, uh, this is the Page of Wands, and it also represents Sagittarius. Oh, oh, I hope my door doesn't slam. And then we have the Star card here, representing Aquarius. Someone may see you as a star. Someone may be um, healing from a situation here. Someone wants uh, communication, but it's crossing you, which means um, to me that communication is not quite happening right now at this time. I feel like something wants to come in for you from the universe, a blessing with that, with that, oh wow. <laughs> I feel like someone is trying to build something here. Someone is trying to build something here. Someone could be trying to save their money for the future. They're trying to build an empire, a business, a relationship. Someone is trying to grow roots. Someone may want to get someone pregnant. In the recent past, someone is thinking about moving in together, celebrating with you, um, possible marriage, engagement, celebrations again they want to celebrate with you that's also the four of wands representing 11 11 so this could be a twin flame as well soulmate connections someone could be walking away from a situation here with the eight of cups here someone could be unfulfilled in a in a situation right now and they're ready they're ready to move on someone is at their wit's end they're tired they're ready to move on from a situation I see someone actually doing it, moving on. Wow, the Empress is here. Someone is wanting to move from dark waters to calmer waters. They want to move away from toxicity. Um, going away somewhere, moving away. Wow. <laughs> I can't even make this up, guys. So we have the Nine of Cups with the ten of cups and this one flipped over here with the chariot wow oh my i can't even make this up guys cancer you showed up in your reading with the chariot the chariot represents cancer on the outcome position someone wants to go towards someone someone could have cheated on someone in the past um could have had um I feel like someone could have had someone else here. They could have had a family and everything. But I feel like something here was disappointing. They're walking away from this here. Someone could have been in a marriage or thinking of marriage here. 
but someone here is looking to move away from a situation they're ready to see new horizons again moving from dark waters from a from toxicity like um love was lost here is what i want to say and they want to go towards an empress they see someone here as an empress i feel like they want and this empress of course this is usually like virgo energy for me i believe also libra but for me it, re it represents the earth signs for me it just does it's very earthy so for me it's like virgo um taurus or capricorn we also have water here. We have the Nine of Cups. Someone wants to celebrate. So you could be wanting to go towards your wish fulfillment. Like you have a wish fulfillment here. And I feel like you're trying to move away from a, a bad situation to go towards that wish fulfillment, which could be with this Empress here. For on the other hand, I also see because that's like if you're a male. Now for female, I also see um where someone wants to come towards you, you are their wish fulfillment. And that with the Ten of Cups here, it's like wanting to move in together, um, start a family together, even merge families, like bring families together. So like if you have kids and they have kids, you're willing to work on this, like come together and merge your families. I see here you want to go towards someone here. You want to you want to go get past the situation and you want to go towards someone possibly travel. Someone may be getting a new car. Oh my god, this is going to be a great week. I haven't even really really gotten started yet. Like I'm just like kind of just wow, it's just so much just jumping out at me. At the bottom of the deck, we do have temperance here. You want reunion with someone. You want to come together with someone here. I also feel um, like there was a healing that needed to take place. Um, and the universe is making a way for you. Um, I see you're wanting reunion. And I also, you could be obsessed with someone. Could be a Capricorn. They, again, there could have been toxicity here. You're needing patience in a situation here with the temperance card representing Sagittarius. Um, but patience is needed here at this time. But with that, you have the angel and the devil. It's like this patience needing here, but I feel like someone is obsessed with someone here. They feel bound, chained to someone. Like they're in constant thought about someone here. Someone also could be um, doing drugs, drinking, um, something of that nature addicted to sex drugs um, drinking let's dive guys oh my god someone wants to send a message you're about to receive a message or you're wanting to send a message i can't get these cards off the table all right let's try it this way even though i'm gonna probably all right so we have the page of wands here again representing sagittarius um, this is someone coming in with a message. Either someone is coming in for a, mess, uh, a message for you and they want to come in with some passion, some, you know, playfulness, some, you know, flirting. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry about that, guys. So with the Page of Wands, again, this tells me that someone wants to come in, someone wants to get communication going, someone is still feeling passionate for someone or someone new is coming in and they're feeling passionate about you could be a sagittarius with the page of wands for the females or maybe for the males you're the one that wants to send out this message because it's not necessarily about the signs uh but it's more about the energies so either you want to send a message to someone or someone wants to send a message to you i do see here you could be wanting to send um, a message to someone from the past, someone you may needed um, healing from, or someone who may have needed healing. Maybe you were with this person in the past, and, and maybe it's been a long time, and everything is coming in new, so things could be awkward. Because I say that for the fact that the Ace of Wands is here crossing you. So creat creativity could also be blocked at this time or, you know, it's not coming in. Communication, passionate communications are not coming in. It's like, it's like at a standstill, like someone can't speak, but someone has a lot of passion for someone here. I also see where um, 
you may want to grow something with someone or someone is looking to grow something with your relationship um finances maybe your finances are starting to grow maybe you're starting to see everything um you know you, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor so to speak you know you put in the work and now you're reaping your rewards i feel um you also see someone in this light as well as having um having money, you know, and building, like building a business, building a relationship, um, wanting to have a family, wanting to have children, growing roots, things like that. You also have um, the four of wands here, which tells me either you were recently in a marriage or you were in a... Um, you were in some kind of relationship, could have been in the past, but I see this in the recent past, so you could have been in a marriage here. I also see where um, you walked away from that or someone walked away from this marriage, from this commitment. Uh, if this is someone from the past, um, they, that as well, it could have been an ending of a, of a relationship, whether it be a marriage or a higher level of commitment type of thing. But I see someone here could be you walked away from it. You took your cups with you. I also see here, again, you're moving away from something like toxicity is what I feel because usually for this, for me, this represents like um, with the Six of Swords, um, this is also mental. So this is like taking your emotions, um, taking your, you know, not trying to think about them and the toxicity, trying to move away from the negativity, from the darkness, whether it be um, mentally, emotionally, emotionally, you know, just being in a dark place and moving away from that to calmer waters here. I also see here you have the Empress. The Empress also tells me that um, you see someone as a mother figure. You see them as having, you know, everything together. You see this person as beautiful, abundant. Um, you could have, have wanted children with this person. You may still want uh, children with this person. I also see like you see someone here, this empress as your wish fulfillment here. So I feel either this is you, Cancer, um, seeing someone in this light or someone is seeing you in this light. You could be someone's wish fulfillment. Take care how it resonates. Also here I see you have the Ten of, cu ten of Cups and the Hopes and Fears. And for me... This is like clearly saying your fears is that it doesn't come together, that this doesn't happen. Your hopes is that it does, of course. Um, I also see here the chariot. The chariot tells me here, Cancer, you're hearing your reading. and also tells me um, you're making a decision between two people. Could be here. Could be that you're moving past the situation and trying to move towards someone. I feel like you want to go towards someone. You may want to travel and see someone. I'm going to clarify these cards here. And again, we did, we got uh, the devil. So you could be, someone either could be obsessed with you or you could be obsessed with someone or someone around you could be drinking, um, doing drugs, um, just very, or around toxic people, toxicity. However, I feel like you're needing patience here in a situation. Um, you may want to make moves, but you feel like um, you're walking away, but to actually get it all the way going, I feel like you need patience. Um, you're trying to make it happen. I see the universe bringing things into alignment. You may be in hermit mode. You may be spending time alone here. You may be like always alone. Um, going through this... Uh, introspection things like that um self-reflection <clears throat> thinking of what went, went wrong i can't speak all of a sudden what went wrong if i could speak it would be nice if i could get the words out my mouth it's like i'm tongue-tied right now and i don't know why i was just fine <laughs> that was weird <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna use my life series deck to clarify 
though I love what I'm seeing. But other than leaving the situation, you could have found something out with the moon there. There could have been something that was illuminated to you. You found something out. Um, you could have been in a really toxic environment, a toxic situation here in this marriage here. There could have been a lot of fighting, a lot of disagreements. You could have found something out. Yeah, again, wow, with Sagittarius here, with the Temperance card, the universe. The universe is making a way for you. Things are going to happen for you. I didn't even like really think about where I was going to put the card, but it flipped in my hand. <laughs> so you are needing patience in a situation and things are making a way. The universe will make a way for you. You are going to come into reunion with someone if that's what you want. Oh my Lord, I feel like there's been a lot of burdens here. You're carrying a lot of burdens on you. Could be burdens of the past, burdens in this toxicity, and you're trying to release it again with the star card here because these all flipped in my hand. With the star card here, this also tells me again you're going through a healing. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius, not necessarily because Aquarius is here twice. Um, you could also be seeing someone as a star as well. You could be healing. I feel like you're going through a healing. I feel like you want success. These all like just came in my hand. This is great. All of these flipped in my hand. I feel like you want success in something here. Could be a relationship. Could be in finances. I do see that coming in for you. I do see yourself as feeling stuck in a situation. You may see yourself as stuck. Um, not being able to move or do what you want but it's all mental because the eight of swords swords are mental here you may feel like you can't speak either you just feel bounded um closed off so to speak and with this still here i see with the page of wands you want a new beginning you want to come in again with that page of wands the same that's clarifying twice you want a new beginning, you want a new passionate beginning with someone or someone is trying to have a new passionate beginning with you. And it's going to feel, even if it was like someone, let's say from the past, you're going to feel, um, it's going to feel really new because it's probably been that long, like before the marriage. <laughs> yeah, wow. So someone can feel like they don't have enough to give. Someone is looking for balance here. Someone is looking for equal give and take. Um, someone may not be giving uh, to someone. Like someone is looking to communicate with someone, but someone is not really giving the communication. So you may be in some kind of in and out communication. Someone could have been dealing with other people. Like so if you were in a relationship, marriage, someone could have all of a sudden not had time for you because they were dealing with other people. Like they were spending less and less time with you. And again, the Empress is here again, clarifying the Empress who's here. You may want to get someone pregnant. Like if it was a lost miss opportunity, like you, there was someone you wanted to be with, um, someone who you saw as the Empress at a time. Um, and you see them now as an empress. I guess sometime it could have went away. They weren't the empress anymore. And then now you see them again. It's like, wow, they're divine. And you may say, wow, we could have had a baby. We could have did something, you know. Um, I could have been with her. She's abundant. She has her shit together, so to speak. Excuse my French. All right, so let's clarify on the seven of uh, pentacles. Let's start from there. Yeah, I feel like there's a healing going on right now. There, someone had to leave a situation here. I feel like something could have been found out. Someone could have found out about some messages. Right now, at the current time, even though you want to grow something or someone wants to grow, someone here is taking um, time to heal, like self-care, self-love. Here you see the heart. Self-love, kind of putting themselves back together. Someone could be a little bit, um, I have to say, depressive. They could be like in a depressed state. You see someone as doing dumb. They don't even realize like they got their back to, to you. They're just doing dumb. They're working, you know, on projects, working on whatever they're doing. They're almost oblivious that you're, and I feel, I wanted to say watching them. You may want, even though this is from the recent past, you may want to grow roots with someone else. Like start a new family, I feel. <clears throat> 
you want it, like there was marriage and everything, but I feel like you want to start a new. This is Ace of Pentacles, like starting something new, abundance coming in. I feel like in the recent past, it's like you felt like almost lucky because something came to you. Yeah, with the Five of Swords here, I see there's a lot of self-negative talk here. I also see um, people could have been talking in your ear about this person and you kind of came to a realization about this person, about, you know, your wife or ex-girlfriend of, of recent times. And it was devastating and so you walked away. I feel like going towards someone else though, I feel like you're having a lot of negative self talk here because um it could have not ended well in the past again with the empress this empress is <laughs> your nine of cups the nine of cups twice clarified you can't even make this up you have the sun card clarifying the six of um swords so i feel like you're going towards your happiness is what i want to say this one also flipped in my hand the seven of pentacles and we did have the seven of pentacles here yeah right here under this four of um swords you may be thinking about someone like you can't get someone out of your head right now um but you're going through you're trying to like mentally like uh mentally emotionally detach yourself you're trying to love yourself. You, you want to grow something with someone. Someone who you see as your wish fulfillment or vice versa. Someone may want to grow something with you or see you as the wish fulfillment. Wow, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Art Right tells me that things will go in your favor. So if you're looking for this Ten of Cups with someone or someone is looking for this Ten of Cups with you, it's going to happen. Wow. Let's clarify the chariot. Yeah, but the chariot tells me someone moved away from someone here because there was a betrayal. There was an ending. Someone was at their wit's end and someone walked away here. Yeah, someone got like an epiphany, uh, epiphany or some kind of truth came to light here. Um, something was found out. So it was like a stab in the back, the ten swords in the back. Like someone really like betrayed you here. And so you're moving away now and I feel like you're moving towards your happiness, towards someone else. Yeah, you want victory with someone. Someone wants victory with you. Again, the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to communicate here the truth here is what I, I should have even said. It just came out. It came out again because it needed. To, that's what needed to be said. This Ace of Swords just came out again. This tells me that someone is having clarity and epiphany, realizing something. Someone wants to speak their truth. Someone wants to, to find out truth. Someone wants to know someone's truth here. Someone may be making a decision as to where they're going to go or if they're going to go somewhere to travel, visit someone. Someone is ready to go. On the top of the deck, the eight of wands. Someone wants fast communication. Someone is going to get quick communication. There's going to be messages, texts, traveling. I see travel here. Someone is going towards someone here. Wow. Yeah, five of cups. It could be someone from the past. And again, the Empress jumped out at me again, came right back out. So with the Five of Cups, I feel like you're missing this Empress, this person from this, the past. This person could have been pregnant from you at one time or could have had a child from you or something like that. Um, but there's so, like you felt like there was a missed opportunity here with this person. Like this person was someone from the past, uh, someone who you probably walked away from them as well or they walked away from you. You see this person as your son. Um, this person makes you happy. I feel like a lot of happiness is going to come in. Yeah, there's nostalgia here. Oh, wow. I think you worry someone has options here. Um, with the lover's card here, you have someone wanting a reunion, twin flame, soulmates. You have the page of cups. Someone could be in nostalgia. Someone could be worried that someone here has options. The devil card is here. It could be a Capricorn. Again, someone could be obsessed with someone. Someone uh, could be toxic here. Someone as well could have addictions. 
I feel like someone here is married. So someone could be married or you see someone is having money um, stand, uh, sitting in the throne, so to speak. Not necessarily married, but this person, you could um, see them as um, successful or having, you know, again, their shit together, so to speak. Again, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for me. Wow, you may want to start something new, higher level of commitment, marriage, proposals, start something new, something creative, something passionate. You're looking back at the past again. I can't make this up. That five of cups came up. This is someone of the past that you want to start something new. You want to build a new foundation. I can't, it's right there in my face. You're looking back at the past of something that was you felt a missed opportunity with someone here you want to come together again you want to build a new foundation and actually take it to another level possibly even marriage if you can you want a new start a fresh new start well i had two on the floor you feel like there's secrets here you could have secrets with this um, moon card in pisces i also see here the seven of wands you can see someone as different as growth um like they changed spiritually they there was a growth here they went within they're about themselves they you know this person has grown Okay, so I'm going to let that be. You could be spying on this person or someone is spying on you here. I'm trying to get to learn about them all over again. Let's see what else I have. What are the goodies I have for you guys? So I'm going to use, this is my, which deck is this? My Energy Oracle cards by Sandra and Taylor. Soon as I, okay, so for the past, you have cornucopia for past. This person could be your twin flame. That's number 11, that card here. That's pure happiness. That's almost like the sun. The cornucopia reminds me of the sun card because it's just pure happiness, joy, bliss. You know, in the past, you could have been really happy with someone here. I'm going to take this one, storm warning in the present, financial constraints. You could be worried about your finances, but I, th I feel like things are going to get better for you. Let's see what else comes out because you have wish fulfillment here. Let me see what else. So there are many pentacles. I don't really see. Well, the ace of pentacles, that is abundance. Men holding a coin. So either you're starting to make your money, even though you could have, you're probably going to go through uh, financial constraints for a bit, but then I feel there's going to be stability that's going to come in with one and three that equals four. Stability is going to come in for you. Good luck is also going to come in for you with four and, and three that equals seven. That's a very lucky number. I feel like you're going to make your money. I feel like stability is coming for you, and I feel like you're being guided with the threes here. I also see here there's going to be an ending to a situation. If not, you're probably right now at this moment going through an ending of a situation in the present. Because this is the past. In the past, there was happiness. There was love. There was abundance. And then now you're in um, a storm. So you may be going through a divorce. Um, this, is, this reminds me of like the power moment. Or like the Ten of Swords, again, you know, with the Ten being here, Ten of Swords, like the ending, like going through it. So you may be going through it. Again, feeling all tied up. Hostilities. You may be dealing with someone right now, um, let's say if you're dealing with an ex-boyfriend or ex-wife, ex-husband. Yeah, again, someone walked away. Someone walked away. Personal healing and happiness. You're looking for balance in your life with the angel balance card being here as well. I feel in the future you may feel like you don't quite make enough, but things are going to be okay. You may know someone who has intuition or... You had an intuition about a situation or someone had an intuition about a situation that caused this ending. I see patience is needed here after this. After the storm, patience is going to be needed. 
because I feel like spiritual union is coming. You may feel like you can't come into union at some point because you're going to feel like I can't financially do it. But then at some point, I feel like either you're going to get money or whoever you're dealing with, whoever wants to come towards you, they're going to get money. Maybe you're the one that doesn't have money and this person is coming with money for some of you. Someone who can help you out, who's going to be, um, who's loyal, because this is representing the coins, the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone who's about their coins. Okay, here we go for the last one here. Truth, success. Success is going to come in for you. If you want this to work, it will. It will come in for you. You just uh, need to speak your truth. Yeah, rest and rejuvenation, which I saw with the four swords. You're needing to rest and rejuvenate yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. I feel like you've been through a lot. I feel like I'm going to leave that at that. Um, so, yeah, that was my reading for you guys for cancer. Um, Things will be okay, though. I see Ten of Cups here. Things turning into your favor. You may be getting a new vehicle or you're traveling to someone. You may get a new vehicle to travel to someone. <laughs> okay, and I see that someone sees you as their Nine of Cups. and you, Or you can see someone as your, their, um, your wish fulfillment. Yeah. I have a lot of good cards here. A lot of good cards. Um, I feel like if... Someone could just uh, step out of um, the negative um, ways of thinking, um, having inner conflicts, mental conflicts, or having people talk in their ear, they need to release that, whoever that is. And I never say it, so I always put it on my video, so this reading may or may not resonate, but oh, anyway, this is a general read. And um, so that is it, guys. So sending love and light. Namaste. God bless everyone. Bye.